Welcome back to World in Days, where we journey through the heart of cities and the soul of wilderness. Today, we're venturing into Cape Town, South Africa, a city where mountains meet the sea and history intertwines with modern vibrancy. Join us as we embark on a three-day journey through the mother city, uncovering its culinary delights, historical landmarks, and breathtaking landscapes. Let's dive into the vibrant heart of Cape Town. Our journey begins in the historical heart of Cape Town, exploring its rich past and vibrant culture. From the cobblestone streets of the Bocarp to the solemn halls of the District 6 Museum, we'll uncover the stories that shape this city. In the shadow of Signal Hill lies Bocarp, a vibrant quarter known for its brightly colored homes and cobblestone streets. This area, rich in Islamic culture and history, offers a peaceful contrast to the city's modern pace. The Bocarp Museum, set in a historic 1760s house, showcases the life of a 19th century Muslim family, offering insights into the community's enduring heritage. From the colorful tranquility of Bocarp, we journey to the District 6 Museum, a poignant testament to a community uprooted during apartheid. The museum, located in the heart of Cape Town, narrates the stories of 60,000 residents displaced in the 1970s, offering a deep dive into their struggles and resilience. Next, we find solace and sustenance at the company's garden restaurant. Nestled within Cape Town's historic garden, this eatery offers a blend of traditional South African and contemporary dishes. Surrounded by ancient trees and historic monuments, it's a perfect spot to reflect on the morning's explorations. Our afternoon is dedicated to the Castle of Good Hope, the oldest surviving colonial building in South Africa. Constructed by the Dutch East India Company in the 17th century, this pentagonal fortress offers a glimpse into Cape Town's military and colonial past, with its museums and exhibitions detailing the life and times of its early inhabitants. We conclude our day at Gold Restaurant, an immersive dining experience that celebrates Africa's rich culinary and cultural heritage. Guests are treated to a 14-course menu accompanied by interactive drumming sessions, making it not just a meal, but a journey through the continent's diverse traditions. Day 2 takes us from the tranquil Kirsten Borsch Botanical Gardens to the historic Robben Island ending with a culinary journey at the V&A waterfront. Our second day begins at Kirsten Borsch National Botanical Garden, set against the eastern slopes of Table Mountain. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to over 7,000 species of plants from Southern Africa. The Centenary Tree Canopy Walkway offers breathtaking views and a unique perspective on the region's flora. From the lush landscapes of Kirsten Borsch, we set sail to Robben Island, a symbol of South Africa's struggle for freedom. The island, once a prison for political detainees like Nelson Mandela, now stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Tours led by former prisoners offer a moving insight into the island's grim past and the resilience of the human spirit. Our journey continues at Mariner's Wharf in the picturesque fishing village of Hout Bay. As the first harbour front emporium in Africa, it offers a unique dining experience with stunning views of the sea. The Wharf's seafood, freshly caught and expertly prepared, is a culinary highlight not to be missed. The afternoon is reserved for Cape Point and the Cape of Good Hope, where the Atlantic and Indian Oceans meet. This area, part of the Table Mountain National Park, is not only a haven for wildlife, but also offers some of the most spectacular ocean views and hiking trails in the world. Our day ends at the Test Kitchen in Woodstock, 
where chef Luke Dale Roberts presents innovative dishes that blend local ingredients with international techniques. Recognized as one of the world's best restaurants, it offers a dining experience that's both a visual and gastronomical delight. Our final day in Cape Town blends art, wine, and stunning sunset views, from the contemporaries Eat Smoker to the historic vineyards of Constantia. We begin our final day at the Zeet Smoker, housed in a converted grain silo on the V&A waterfront. As the largest museum of contemporary African art in the world, it showcases a vast array of artworks that challenge, inspire, and tell the stories of Africa's cultural heritage. After immersing ourselves in contemporary art, we head to the Pop Luck Club for lunch. Located in the same building as the Test Kitchen, this restaurant offers a relaxed yet refined dining experience. The menu, designed for sharing, encourages guests to sample a wide range of flavors and dishes. Our exploration takes us to Groot Constantia, South Africa's oldest wine-producing estate. With a history dating back to 1685, the estate offers a glimpse into the country's wine-making tradition, set against the backdrop of stunning vineyards and historic buildings. A wine tasting here is not just about the wine, but about experiencing a piece of Cape Town's history. As our journey nears its end, we find ourselves at Camps Bay Beach, watching the sun dip below the horizon. The beach, with its white sands and crystal clear waters, is the perfect place to reflect on our Cape Town adventure. Our final meal is at Codfather Seafood and Sushi in Camps Bay. Known for its no-menu concept, the restaurant offers a selection of the freshest seafood and sushi, allowing for a personalized dining experience. It's a fitting end to our exploration of Cape Town, a city of breathtaking beauty and rich cultural tapestry. As the sun dips below the horizon, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink, our unforgettable journey through Cape Town comes to a close. But before we part ways with this mesmerizing city, let's share some essential travel tips to ensure your visit to the mother city is as smooth and enjoyable as our journey has been. Safety comes next. Like any major city, Cape Town has its do's and don'ts. Keep your belongings secure, stay in well-lit areas at night, and always opt for reputable transport options. Awareness is key to a worry-free adventure. Don't miss the chance to explore beyond the city's boundaries. The Cape Winelands, Cape Point, and the charming Boulders Beach offer unique experiences that capture the essence of South Africa's breathtaking natural beauty. A visit to Cape Town wouldn't be complete without indulging in its culinary scene. From street food markets to gourmet restaurants, the city's diverse flavors are a feast for the senses. Lastly, Let's tread lightly and respect the environment. Cape Town's natural wonders are a treasure to be preserved. By choosing eco-friendly activities and conserving resources, we can ensure this city remains vibrant for generations to come. Armed with these tips, you're all set for an unforgettable visit to Cape Town. From its historic streets to its majestic landscapes, Every moment in this city is a story waiting to be discovered. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our adventures around the globe. With these essential travel tips in mind, you're almost ready to embark on your Cape Town adventure. But, there's one more piece of the puzzle to consider when is the best time to visit this jewel of the Southern Hemisphere. Cape Town is a city that dazzles year-round, each season offering its own unique charm. The peak tourist season falls in the Southern Hemisphere's summer, from December to February, 
When the weather is warm and sunny, perfect for beachgoers and outdoor enthusiasts. However, for those looking to escape the crowds and experience a more laid-back Cape Town, the shoulder seasons of March to May and September to November are ideal. Not only will you enjoy milder weather, but the city's natural beauty during these months is unparalleled from the vibrant hues of autumn in the winelands to the spectacular bloom of wildflowers in spring. And let's not overlook the winter months, from June to August, which bring cooler temperatures and the chance to enjoy the city's indoor attractions, from museums and galleries to cozy cafes and restaurants, all without the summer crowds. So, whether you're drawn by the allure of sunny beaches, the tranquility of nature, or the warmth of a vibrant city life, Cape Town welcomes you with open arms, in a time of the year. And there you have it, our comprehensive guide to exploring Cape Town, a city where every corner holds a new discovery, and every moment is an opportunity for adventure. From the historical depths of its landmarks to the breathtaking beauty of its landscapes, Cape Town is a destination that truly has it all. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Cape Town with World in Days. We hope this guide inspires you to embark on your own adventure to the mother city. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow travelers. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep discovering the wonders of our world.